I think I'm a lot more secure now mm. in my head um, and I also value myself a lot more because I've also realized that whenever uh, I've valued myself, it's paid off. You know, here so many times it happens where it's like, it's a smaller part or even a 60-40 and the yeah. woman is yeah. uh, 60. There are so many times that a lot of the male actors are like, Isko flip kar de kya? Let's I mean, I don't have anyone making calls for me if that's what we're yeah, talking exactly. about. So nobody's picking the phone and saying, ki, Are give this film to her. Na? It doesn't happen. Exactly. So uh, it has to be your work that speaks for you. Mm. That unity is so much here. Mm. I think, um, I don't know how many people are genuinely happy when a film does well. Um, so, but I think that's that's changing a little bit. I'm hoping at least. I don't think she would even know, you know, but there would be times I would just like, Look at her, I'm like, dude, I'm performing with Geet. You know, <laughs> it is such a feeling. Moment, it is such a moment. And um, I also admire both of them for just the people that they are and they've led their lives with so much of strength and, you know, with no conditions and like, you know, people's perceptions and all that. When he says, Ke beer ho jai, mm -hmm. and beer nahi milti hai, then I say, Ke shayad kismat mein nahi dobara. Correct. And then I say beer peena. Yeah. So it's it's also like it's between as we know it's in between lines there's a lot being said. Yeah, so it was yeah. fun. Hello everybody, I'm Rudrani and welcome to Zoom Speak Easy. My guest today is right now in the best phase mm -hmm. of her career. And this has taken so much hard work. An actor that you all admire, Kriti Sanan, and that we do. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It is kind of the best phrase, isn't it? I know you'll do thutu in some time. Touch wood and I was <laughs> already looking at the board. Yeah, it's, it's I'm, I'm, you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. But it's fantastic to say this, isn't it? To, to have two films that are running right now together. I saw you put that post. Yeah. Saying that you have two successful films. There was a time in the industry where we didn't know which direction we were heading. And people... And People were questioning everything, yeah. saying that action kaam hoga. And very interestingly, the both the films that you have going is a rom com and a comedy. Both have film. comedy in them. Yeah, and that. I love that. Let's talk about that. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a. I mean, I don't think this has happened to me before. Mm. It's a very nice feeling of uh, two films running successfully, being loved. Uh, at the same time in the theatres, one of them having done 50 days and more. Um, one that has just released is led by three women, is houseful, is being loved. My own people are not getting tickets and I just feel great about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's nice that both have comedy in them because mm -hmm. even I was getting a little worried when people said that Oh, only action is working and you know, uh, mm -hmm. action film banani hai. But I think... Um, there is a little bit of a phase of the audience. You know, the audience will be bored and how much action will be seen at one point. So I feel like if you make good content, whatever genre it doesn't matter. It is basically the content that works and it's not the genre so much. You know, you put it so well, which is why it's very important to discuss crew and the success and how it impacts the industry. We've had numerous conversations where they've said that, no, yeah, it doesn't work. Having, you know, a lot of times women-led films will not work and, you know, comedy and it, it, we don't know. We don't want to put big monies in it. Yeah. We don't know how it'll go. Let's release it in the OTT and we'll figure it out in the side. I feel like when you show numbers that crew is doing, it gives a hope to so many other filmmakers and actors like who you pursue doing uh, roles like this. I think we should highlight that. Tell me because you've, I'm sure you've heard of all those things in those rooms. See, I, I think uh, we all equate everything to box office numbers, you know, everything. The yeah. success of a film in theatres is so much related to the box office numbers. And of course, box office numbers are relative to like your cost and all of that. Normally, if a film is led by women or a woman, usually the budget that people are willing to put in is marginally way lesser than what you would put in for a guy for a simple reason that mostly those films don't end up earning that much money in the theatres. So it's a math and it is all related. You know, pre-sale value of a film that's led by women is much lesser. You know, so so hence the producers are also scared that अच्छा पैसा अभी कम मिल रहा है pre-sale कम मिल रही है तो मैं कम ही लगाऊंगा 
लगाऊंगी लगाऊंगा वट एवर एंड आई फील वेन अ फिल्म लाइक दिस दैट्स ऑन थ्री वीमेन बिलोंगिंग टू डिफरेंट जनरेशन हैविंग डन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वर्क कम टूगेदर you know for a film that's a comedy film you mm-hmm. know firstly people don't expect that people expect like if it's three women or it's going to be like men bashing women empowerment something like that but no it can be a simple story of three women mm-hmm. you know it doesn't have to be related to women it mm-hmm. could be men and the story would remain the same yeah. you know and that's the beauty of crew and when a film like this does numbers when it pulls in the audiences when it gives you the same box office numbers that it would have if it was three men mm. in this genre uh it gives a lot of confidence to people and a lot of hope to the industry mm. that a lot many more scripts like this can be written now because they can expect audiences to be coming to the theater and i love the fact that slowly films are becoming um gender neutral it doesn't matter yeah whether it's led by a man or a woman mm. you know um if it's good content it is going to bring the audiences to the theater and that's all that matters and that's all that should matter mm. i think the debate of men women male led female led should just stop it should only and only be content and that is in the hands of the audiences and the writers makers in general a uh, true that's the ideal situation yeah. it's been a uh, work put in by you by many women who've been pushing the narrative and to say that we are so much more than just somebody's love interest in films true because this gives hope like i said this adds to the narrative because ab when they are when you're sitting in a room and and you you know when when they'll discuss that wow when was the last time comedies work with women because there's a there's a very sexist narrative ki yaar wo they're not funny women don't know comedy the writing is whatever men are very funny and physical comedy na women isn't also it also the thing is that people feel like women should look beautiful all the time you know कॉमेडी करते हुए समटाइम्स यू हैव टू नॉट बी ब्यूटिफुल यू हैव टू मेक फेसेज यू हैव टू हैव एक्सप्रेशन विच मेक द कैरेक्टर फनी एंड द लाइन्स फनी एंड यू आर नॉट बींग एलिगेंट इन पॉइज एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो आई थिंक दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द एस्पेक्ट्स वाई पीपल फील लाइक वेमेन शुड नॉट डू कॉमेडी और कैन डू कॉमेडी और वट एवर बट पीपल आर फॉर गेटिंग चालबाज पीपल आर फॉर गेटिंग श्री देवी मैम जूही चावला विद्या बालन सो मेनी ऑफ दैम हैव डन such funny roles and funny films yeah. you know and excelled in it and made people laugh and how so uh, i've always loved comedy like whether it is a little bit in bareilly that was there or lukka chupi or uh, there was teri baaton mein like the whole climax is comedy everything it has romance it is a love story but it's full of comedy and in the whole climax i feel like when i watched it with the audiences what i loved was how loudly they were laughing at mm. every joke you know and um again there i had to be a robot that is malfunctioning mm. i had to be not beautiful i had to be crack yeah. i had to be like something is going wrong she's twitching she's doing things you have to l- like let go of all your inhibitions and just just like physical comedy is very difficult yeah. it is very difficult situational is way more easier yeah. you know uh, you can have that there's a very thin line of going over the top slapstick you know too much mm. um and and just be in that zone so it was such a um, nice feeling to just hear people laugh in the theater and the same is what happened when i you know watched crew with people mm. and i just heard them laugh at every joke and every joke was landing mm. and i was like i yeah. also want to say uh, we should also applaud the men 100% who have supported of course um three women mm. leading this film whether it's diljeet whether it's kapil uh, i think it is I amazing agree. that they uh, took up those roles and genuinely were there and their presence there added so much value to the film to the script you know and uh, to every scene that they were there they they were just like fully with all honesty and mm. purity just there performing their parts and i think it's amazing for them to take up this uh, these characters and to support a film because women support men very very often um add value to films where they don't have too much to do 
but still they make an impact in that small role and that's what these men have done i feel absolutely because i was going there i remember having this conversation with you also with tapsi also and she said you know we've done it for such a long time and we do it because those roles are important when it comes to come have like an interesting we know they have a certain audience and we know that if they will be a part of it that audience will also of come course. and see it you know and you have the the big leading men but they don't do these parts because they feel like the women are the center stage and we are not there like you mentioned people like diljeet who do not have that kind of insecurity people like kapil they supporting a film will mean not so uh, will mean a lot but besides that also shows the kind of people they are yeah and both of them have like amazing audiences of people love them for who they are i, mean, I just feel like eventually it should be about the film mm. and and when you have a smaller part you're also you're also not giving that many days to that film you know yeah. so you have to sometimes also come out and say that okay here is where i'm adding value mm. and i'm taking a certain amount and i feel that this is a great film and i'd just like to support and be a part of this film yeah. i think that's how people need to start viewing roles mm. rather than view it selfishly of like what am i doing and why mm. why should i do this um and yeah the more that happens the more the this balance will become balanced you yeah. know i think this whole equilibrium is going to shift uh into a balanced state like i i totally believe that because i feel like like tapsi also said like women have done it for a very long time yeah. uh and and like whether it's shahrukh khan did a dears in the gee mm. you know uh, made such an impact it was his personality that that just brought in that gravitas in that whole you know film in that role that he played yeah. um and he's a very secure hollywood man. yeah hollywood actors do it all the time all the time all the time so i feel like we just you know here so many times it happens where it's like it's a smaller part or even a 60 40 and the yeah. woman is yeah. uh, 60 there are so many times that a lot of the male actors are like isko flip kar de kya it's so weird right so it happens yeah. and i mean i get it everybody wants meet every actor craves to perform do a meteor part you know do something that they uh, can sink their teeth in in general but but at the same time you should also be like okay this is a great film mm. I have a small part, but I think I can add some value here. Yeah, you know, and let me just do it. I will. I will not be spending that much time in this film, so it's fine. Absolutely. And because we're in the subject, we have to also talk about how I saw the leading ladies and the biggest superstars come forward and celebrate the numbers that crew is making. It is so telling. We spend a lot of time in also pitting women against each other. Now it's lesser because all of them are coming and calling it out as well. but it was so nice to see alia put out that story yeah and you know which you of course i mean you've been saying this for a while you've been walking the talk you did the film yeah. so we know where you are there with it uh, but you shared the story that alia had said about you know like amazing people great numbers like this is amazing yeah and then katrina saying like wow this really changes things and and stuff so i can see there is a there is a kind of a like a sisterhood circle forming in celebrating crew because we know it changes the the narrative that all of you have been pushing ki yaar let's make action franchises let's make this let's yeah make yeah it, it is i can see everybody coming out because people are happy that this change is happening yeah. because it was long due you mm -hmm. know and something like this happening and the audience is giving all the love you know with the numbers i think is such a big deal for the entire industry in general you know we're moving towards a good change and i'm just proud to be a part of that change but wasn't it so nice to see all katrina people and come and support of course see you know that's what i feel like in our industry i feel we'll be somewhere else if we just start come exactly. start uniting start supporting each other genuinely supporting and genuinely feeling good not doing it for the heck of it yeah. and just you know being there clapping and applauding for each other it's just going to be a much much nicer happier and a much more successful place you know it doesn't happen to often in ria who is one of the producers also another absolutely badass person and who's always always really taking stand for things is always has also mentioned this in the past that you know it becomes very difficult to get even support you to jal jal film ka hissa nahi hue but you know a lot of times you all are promoting other actors films and stuff but sometimes that also doesn't come up you know she's produced so many films and she yeah. says that we don't have that kind of unity when it comes particularly again to to films that are there i you know what are your thoughts on that and truly yeah i mean i don't see uh, that unity so much here mm. i think um 
I don't know how many people are genuinely happy when a film does well. Um, so, but I think that's that's changing a little bit. I'm hoping at least I try and see good in everything. So, yeah. with all these tweets coming up and all the support coming up and people genuinely cheering, yeah. um, uh, I'm hoping that also changes because it feels good, na, on both ends. Yeah. Like I also feel nice when I watch someone's work and I really love it, and I feel this urge of like just letting the person know because mm -hmm. it's inspiring in some way when you see someone perform well when when something moves you you know or when when you see a great film and you're like listen i loved it mm -hmm. like you have to tell it to the other person because as actors we thrive on validation yeah. you know somewhere and this is one thing that i feel a lot of women have gone through and this is probably the right opportunity to bring it up as well that there are there is a certain narrative at some point now it's so much better that they build when movies don't do well and they say like oh it's the is the female counterpart because of which and they give names i don't see when lot of people when the film doing very well saying that the uh, yeah you know, that is like, because of the female actor yeah then they don't yeah. say oh she's very lucky i feel like that take down see i just feel it's sad i mean honestly yeah. i i'm one of those who who just ignores the noise yeah. Uh, and I, at times i do come across like really hurtful comments uh, it's a film succeeding or not succeeding is not one person ever 100%. a film succeeding also is not one person ever it is a whole entire team a uh, lot of scenarios that are sort of you know there whether it's what time it's releasing how many screens it has blah 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 uh, of course it being a good film or not a good film everything but um I choose to sort of ignore all of this and mm. let my work speak because nothing yeah. else really matters. Yeah. Um and like you rightly said I feel like it's people quickly blame it on the girl sometimes. Yeah. yeah yeah. I mean in many cases not just films even matches sometimes it's really yeah. funny. Uh For marriage also you're right. I mean it's like <laughs> it's unbelievable sometimes what you read but it's I mean I feel like trolls are trolls I can't give so much power to them yeah. so it's fine. No but I think now when I think once you just let their work speak speak and that's about it. And I the think the work is speaking Kriti. Yeah, I mean that's about it. I feel like um uh, you know uh lucky and lucky is you I get the harder I work the luckier I get is always something that I say. So you just have to keep working hard. Mm. Um the things that work are, are also for your good the things that don't work also have something else as the reason why maybe they didn't. So yeah. it's fine. We I want to talk about action franchise at the moment there are so many <laughs> coming up are you making it do you know any is making one listen you uh, you know you've come close to almost being a part of it i don't know if that's happening still or not and i know you were in talks for a while to figure out if you are doing kill bill or not and stuff like that and we were very excited about it so i want to know if even if that's not working out is are there other other like do you see those offers coming up to you because i think if they say action is what it is going to work really in a big way then we should have more See, in doing it see if there was something kick ass out there yeah. i would have been doing it mm. it's just Love um it. more than anything else i feel um whether it's action or any other genre i think what's the most important is the script mm. and uh i know sometimes action feels like oh you know the action sequences are going to be so exciting that people are going to come in the theater but everything has to relate to an emotion i agree you know everything has to so even action for me for me as a person doesn't work till it has a very very strong emotion behind it sure. um and yes i've been wanting to do an action film mm. for a while and i was almost very close to doing one but sometimes certain things don't work out certain things don't connect with you as as a person as an actor mm. and uh, earlier i used to be of uh, i used to be the person who would be like ki ne 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 it's fine इतना आई एम कनेक्टिंग इतना हो जाएगा बट नाउ आई फील लाइक यू हैव टू हंड्रेड परसेंट कनेक्ट टू इट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट इट्स द जर्नी यू नो यू हैव टू बी वन हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर इन साइड विद वॉट यूर फीलिंग दैट यू शुड फील लाइक आई कॉन्ट लेट दिस फिन गो यू नो दैट आई रियली वॉन्ट टू दिस दैट शुड बी द ओनली रीजन वाई यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग एंड नथिंग एल्स सो सो या आई एम वेटिंग फॉर सम समथिंग किक एस विच जिस बिकॉज एक्शन इज ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ मेहनत पीपल डोंट रियलाइज दैट crazy the one of dekhne mein bahut acha lagta hai you know of course in every aspect you have like body doubles to do certain things but you have to work hard and i want to do the action on my own also mm, you know so if i do i feel like it's not it's something that i've been craving to do but i want to if i do it i want to do it big i want to do it right um Love and it has to be that that amazing script and i hope that's there 
Okay, let's come back to the ladies of crew. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's really cute BTS videos, of course. One that with you pulling uh, Tamu's cheek has went viral. Yeah, that was a snippet actually. Yeah, but it went viral because they're like, this is exactly how we do when we meet kids like this. I saw your emotional post, um, you know, on on the day when the when everything was over and the release before the release, and you put out this post saying, you know, it's been the best experience. I didn't feel like a junior. <laughs> I didn't behave like one. Uh, also, yeah. In bracket, I said I didn't behave like, like one, one also. also. And of course. The the love and the warmth was very evident in that post because I know you've genuinely enjoyed yourself. You saw some BTS, like I said, pulling cheeks of Jay, whether you were having pizza and pizza, but it truly felt like you all had a ball of a time. So I want you to tell me how it was to have Karina Kapoor, Kriti Sanon, and Tabu together every day and making that amazing film. I want them to know that. It was amazing. Yeah, it was just like you know, as I've said multiple times, that I've not gotten to work with like women mm. that I've admired. Yeah. Uh, and these two, of course, like forget about the fact that they're my seniors. That's a different thing. Mm. I've just like admired both of them. You know, just even when I was not an actor, mm. um, you know, the range that both of them have had. Uh, where Tabu, ma'am, like whether it's Makbul to like Bhul Bula ya, um, you know, the work that she's done mm. is incredible. Uh, and she keeps like just getting better, you know, at everything. Um, I remember when I was watching Makbul the first time. Uh, I also recently watched it again w once, you know, some years back. Right. Uh, and I went back on certain scenes because I just now wanted to see from an actor's perspective, mm -hmm. you know, just those scenes when she's like just washing the, uh, you know, she she's going a little crazy and she feels like there's blood on the wall and she's just, yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, oh my God, I was like, I had goosebumps and my mouth was open and I was like, my God, like what an actor. Mm -hmm. um, to of course watching uh, Geet yeah. uh, thrice in the theatre, I remember it so clearly. I went three times for a film in the hall, which is not me. I don't do that, okay. Um, uh, and the fact that when I came into the industry and I was nobody, mm -hmm. um, I gave auditions on Kareena Kapoor scenes so many times, mm -hmm. you know. Whether it is like a lot from Geet actually, we used to get a lot from uh, uh, Jab We Met, mm. you know, uh, where the bubbly yeah, North right. Indian girl was like very in at that point. Mm. Um, and uh, so many times I've like said her dialogues. Mm. And there would be like times, uh, I don't think she would even know, you know, but there would be times I would just like look at her and I'm like, dude, I'm performing with Geet. <laughs> you know, it is such a feeling. Moment, it is such a moment. And um, I also admire both of them for just the people that they are and they've led their lives with so much of strength and you know with no conditions and like you know people's perceptions and all that they've just led they've just been who they are you know they've not been anyone else they've not tried to be anyone else um, and when we were on set also I, I also realized that both of them have such like three of us have such a different process you know which is so interesting um, there was a lot to learn, like, you know, just the way they are like still on set and they're like constantly reinventing mm. and Tabu Ma'am has this ability of doing some something so spontaneously mm. in the take, which you would never know before. Mm. You know, just her silences, if you see the film also, her reactions to things are so they're so simple, but they're just Very so subtle. funny. Yeah. You know, there was a scene where she had just uh <laughs> where she just goes and she goes like that and something has terribly gone wrong I'm going hysterical yeah. and she has decided to sit down and she has done this and she's just gone like that and I was like oh my god like I could not even think of that mm -hmm. you know and um, Bebo has the process of Tabo Mama doesn't rehearse much yeah. um, obviously does your lines and all uh, Bebo I noticed sometimes you know just before the take would like um, she would be rehearsing her line with like nobody, Correct. you know, so she would be saying the dialogue exactly like how she would want to do and mm. be saying it a few different ways, kaise karu, aise karu, unka apna alag wo zone mein hoti hai. Um, she doesn't care kaun saamne hai, kaun nahi hai, you know, and she would just be like rehearsing her lines and trying to do it different ways and mm. sort of prepping how she would do it. Mm. Uh, that's her, mm. you know, and I would be there sort of trying to absorb and obviously the the junior most uh, trying 
I have an engineering mind. I have like a lot of questions. I'm like, क्या कर रहे हैं कहाँ से जा रहे हैं अच्छा मैं ऐसे करूँ या ऐसा करूँ मैं I would like eat the director's दिमाग like that's me that's my way of just uh, because I'm constantly thinking on set you know I'm always thinking so for me I'm like I know I know the other person's lines also you know so I'm that person I'm yeah. the I'm Nodi Divya Rana from Haryana I'm the head so girl cute. I've been that person so I would be that and they'd be they would not be asking anything and in the take they would just like fly you mentioned Divya Rana how can I not talk about <laughs> Diljit and your chemistry yeah listen he's so smooth <laughs> so are you in that scene I think he's someone who is very reactive mm. uh, in the scene. He's, I think, a very, very uh, incredible actor. Um, I don't think he even knows how good he is. Um, <laughs> he's just really, <laughs> really, really good. Why would you say that? No, just like, see, uh, for him, uh, singing is his first passion. Yeah. Acting is the second, mm. you know. Um, so, of course, he's amazing at the music that he creates. And when he sings, he's alive, you know. But um, in front of the camera also, like, no matter what i feel like his eyes speak a lot mm. um he also has a sense of reacting so mm. he would like if you do something he would immediately pick it up and he would react to it and that's fun mm. uh, i think the chemistry also comes from there mm. and unfortunately we only got like some 3 4 scenes uh, in the film to mm. to show the chemistry and i hope that we get a full fledged film at some point because mm. um uh, i mean we've done one film yeah. before but uh, you know i think both of us have also grown yeah. you know as people as actors in general mm-hmm. uh, also the way the scenes were written you know a lot was already there for mm-hmm. us to just play but still i remember um uh wo date wale scene mein jab hum log wo moomfully dal rahe hain uh bahut hi na sanata tha wo scene mein bahut quiet tha sab log because dialogue it's a sing sound film Correct. and suddenly he was like thoda music chala de hum log <laughs> प्लीज थोड़ा सा माहौल क्रिएट करते हैं ना थोड़ा फील आ जाएगा बिकॉज टेक्निकली वो सपोज टू मीन रेस्टोरेंट एस म्यूजिक एंड वो सपोज टू बी टल्ली सो सो देन वी प्लेड सम म्यूजिक एंड देन वी वो वाइबिंग ऑन द म्यूजिक सो वी एक्चुअली हैड टू डब दैट होल सीन बट इट वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ फन इट ही इज आई मीन ही इज नॉट समन हू टॉक्स अ लॉट ऑफ कैमरा ही टेक्स टाइम टू ओपन अप अ लिटल बेट यू हैव टू बी द मन initiating conversations and i can now be chapad chapad so i'm fine so <laughs> yeah, yeah but once it's, the ice is broken then no yeah. i am now like yeah. i think i've grown into that person who can now mm. you know take lesser time and open up and if someone else takes more time then i take the initiative uh, but he's just uh, there's something really nice about him like i really enjoyed doing the few scenes that we had everyone whether it's my family whether it's like everyone just unanimously told me my team told me that listen your chemistry is so good mm. uh i think i mean i kind of knew it yeah. and i kind of felt it because you feel it in the scene yeah, you know yeah. and uh even that scene is fully like you know give and take yeah. we're talking about something that has happened in the past mm. like when he says ke bear ho jaye mm. and bear nahi milti hai then i say ke shayad kismat mein nahi dobara correct and then i say bear peena yeah so it's it's also like it's between as we know it's in between lines there's a lot being said yeah, so it was yeah. fun i think it's fantastic was it nice to also have like a full scene where you could go at bebo i think it was so much <laughs> fun uh, yeah so when i said i didn't behave like a junior <laughs> is is also that scene uh, see obviously in the first few days there's a little bit of like you know you feel like oh my god it's it's yeah. tabu ma'am and mm-hmm. it's bebo and you know and these are two people i'm not like really interacted with before yeah. so much um so uh, there is a little sense of like i hope i can do this i can mm-hmm. do that i i hope they don't feel like i'm crossing a line or yeah. you know um if i'm saying that ma'am ye ye karna hai to main agar aap ye kar rahe ho to main ye kar lu you know you feel like i hope they don't feel bad ki acha ye mujhe bata rahi hai which i never got mm-hmm. it never happened and it was it was always about three actors mm-hmm. on set mm-hmm. you know doing their own part mm-hmm. uh and reacting to each other and creating chemistry mm-hmm. you know that was the most important yeah. so um obviously when we were doing that scene i was in the zone of the scene i didn't really think who it was for for me i didn't really uh, you know think it and that's that's the way all three of us were honestly yeah. mm-hmm. so i think uh, it was really ma- they also made me feel that that chill yeah and that normal uh that i didn't have to think twice if i was doing something as a character 
um and bebo and i had really gone for it and tabu mama was like in the middle and what she says get out was like very real i think coming from inside it felt i think we all felt it but we're also going to come back to a moment in teri baatu mein se uljha ji which went viral of course is your scene at the end when you when she malfunctions and she goes crazy and you are someone who had told me long time back that you know you as a child you used to stand in front of the mirror and do like dhak like exactly songs that you've been doing yeah. now choli ke piche you know dhak dhak karne laga and all you've done it now you got to do it and you had and have you've done it to perfection because you've also tried to show that she has seen it yeah. and she's copied yeah, it yeah yeah and it was people have gone and said ki bro this is done so well which is another conversation yeah. that was going on right yeah. like you saw the reel they were going viral i want to i want to know how many how much have you practiced it it looks practiced or was it just like this i know because you been i've been doing it throughout my no life. no 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 so there was no practice firstly we didn't even have the time because uh, that scene that scene comes in the middle of the whole climax yeah. so there's a lot happening mm. i shot the beginning so I, we shot the entire thing yeah. together mm. like we i shot the beginning thing when i slap that woman yeah. then i go to uh, dimple ma'am you know so all of that was shot there was no time for practice um i was very particular about uh, pure shazia mm. uh, choreographed that whole sequence mm. i was very particular about ki main jitna kar rahi hu mm. except for the part where i start going fast or slow yeah, yeah. that has to be exact so if the shot has been taken from here please take it from here yeah. you know because all that changes everything you know wo jis point pe turn karti hai to wo hum log ne thoda sa sync kiya tha ki okay ye turn karke in inko dekhna hai phir ye wala reaction inko dena hai piche you know who she is going down on like that mm. so all those things we had planned but uh, and i obviously had seen the video multiple times <laughs> so i was like okay ye wala part kar rahe hain okay i'll have to do this he or she makes her eyes like that so yeah. i'll have to do that so so i've been a madhuri fan it was it was something it was not something i hadn't done before mm. in my dreams to many times <laughs> but uh, that was my moment i was i don't think i have been so excited to do something to do something it was so i mean the whole climax was extremely um, because obviously as a robot now mm. in the whole entire film you have to be so like ऐसा लग रहा था बांध दिए किसी ने हाथ और बोले अभी एक्टिंग करो सो इट वॉज यू हैव टू बी सो सटल सो यू नो रिस्ट्रेंड एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो इन द क्लाइमैक्स वन शी गोज मैड आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज लाइक नाउ आई एम गोन लाइक गो ऑल आउट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द थिंग्स यू नो लाइक द ट्विचेज एंड ऑल वर नॉट रिली रिटर्न दिस इज वॉट वी वर प्लानिंग विद द डायरेक्टर्स एंड ऑल इज वेन वी वी थॉट ऑफ एडिंग एंड वी एडेड अ लॉट आई वॉज लाइक नो लिसन इफ शी इज गोइंग crazy and if she is mm-hmm. malfunctioning correct why should she only go fast and slow in how she speaks mm-hmm. even her body is going to react yeah. differently na she might get stuck also somewhere mm-hmm. so maybe let her get stuck somewhere so we you know that whole eight eight mm-hmm. eight thing like became like a yeah. uh you know like a joke yeah um so all those things were like really exciting for me as an actor because finally a robot abhi khul gaya tha you know wo haath mere khol diye the unhone i was like now i can go all out i can go mad uh and the uh, i remember dhak dhak i was so excited and uh, shahid was also he was not shooting that day yeah. okay but he was like bro i'm getting full fomo i'm coming on set to see so he came very sweetly he yeah. came on set and he was only behind the monitor watching it was really cold we were shooting in jaisalmer it was freezing in jaisalmer mm-hmm. uh main dance kar rahi hu wo gaane mein unke baal ud rahe hain to mere baal udne chahiye exactly so i was like storm fan lagao ओके ठंड में बेचारे मेरे पीछे जो खड़े थे ना आई वॉज स्टिल डांसिंग सो आई वॉज वॉर्मिंग अप लिटल आई एम वेरिंग चोली एंड दिस घाघरा नथिंग टू वॉर्म मी अप आई हैव फुल स्टॉम फैन ऑन डिम्पल मैम वॉज लुकिंग एंड मी पीछे वो सब ऐसे हो रहे बिकॉज दे आर लाइक ओ माई गॉड सब एवरीबडी मस्ट है अब्यूज मी देर ऑनेस्टली बिकॉज दे ऑल वो इन फ्रंट ऑफ स्टॉम फैन एंड डिम्पल मैम वॉज लाइक you will fall sick what are you doing this girl has gone mad <laughs> how are you doing this like you aren't you feeling cold but i think i just was like in this different zone you know yeah. this was my moment i i just i was getting to do recreate dhak dhak on celluloid yeah who gets to do that mm-hmm. you know so for me it was a big moment like i thoroughly enjoyed 
and we thoroughly enjoyed it, which is why I brought it up. <laughs> they brought up saying that you know sometimes when you are successful and you know what you want and you know you know the rules you want and you there's a point in your career when you know what you want and you've always said now you know which direction you're heading. Mm. People around get intimidated and it's very difficult. And it comes to even men in dating. They they get intimidated and this is stuff like I like I don't get into it. Does it become difficult for successful women to find love? Is what my question is. And especially as an actor, because they already have assumed so much. Oh, I mean, yeah, I've read a lot of things. I've I've seen a lot of like uh, videos where I've I've read that you know it gets difficult for people mm. for women who are successful because uh, they already. Like you said, know what they want, yeah, yeah. and they can also give themselves almost about everything. Yeah. You know, they're not that dependent. Mm. Uh, you know, so uh, if you have to impress them, if you have to mentally impress them, which is more difficult. Mm. You know, because they are at that level where they're secure and mm. and they're wanting someone who they can lean on, mm. which means that someone has to somewhere intellectually, emotionally, somewhere has to be. At better par. than them yeah. or at par, yeah. you know. So that just gets a little tricky sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel I'm I'm sure there are many men also who are successful. So it's sure. it's all fine. But I feel like as a person, anyways, no matter where you are and what part in your life or phase in your life you are, you always are looking at a match of someone where you connect. Yeah. You know where everything else doesn't matter. There's some connect, and you yeah. just can be like. Children with each other and do stupid things together. You've told me that I have created opportunities for myself because I saw they were not happening. You know, uh, Dopati starting with you. Dopati is the only opportunity yeah. I've created. Yeah, and also great for yourself. Like when you yeah. put together, you made your own yeah. uh, brand when it came to skincare. You decided yeah, to open your production house because yeah. you knew that will be opportunities where you want to tell stories and stuff like that more. So you know, even she was talking about the fact which is produced, and she was talking about how when even in today. We want more roles to be exciting, but utne roles hai, and there's a there's a really long list of women, you know, hoping that we get it, but we don't have enough people in those rooms pushing for us, particularly for pe people like you or her and people who don't have that kind of key backing, know, backing or that kind of support. You are you are a outsider from a long time, and you've created every single thing for yourself. You know, even if you have friends in the industry, it's because they've believed in you yeah. after they saw your work. Um, and which is why the direction, and I said that this goes in your direction. How do you feel feel about that today in this conversation? I mean, I don't have anyone making calls for me. If that's what we're yeah, talking exactly. about. Yeah, so exactly. Nobody's picking the phone and saying, "Ki, are you give this film to her?" Nah, it doesn't happen. Exactly. So uh, it has to be your work that speaks for you. Mm. Um, it has to be, you know, what you're doing and how your how your films are performing, yeah. how you are performing as an actor, uh, which is what gets you what it yeah. does. Um, Dopati is one opportunity. I mean, honestly speaking, apart from the fact that there, there are not too many people pushing you is a different thing. There are not too much content being written, which is great. There is a dearth of good content in mm. general. Mm. So when I talk about creating Dopati as an opportunity, it was also because I was craving to do something meatier, yeah. um, and I was just not finding it anywhere. Mm. I was like, nobody is writing. So then when I met Kanika. Yeah. Um, I had something that you know I told her I want to produce. Um, she asked me, "Is there anything particular you know that you feel for?" I told her one subject that I feel for. She had something else, and she sort of married the two, and she made this beautiful thing. And then I sort of, you know, worked with her mm. while she was making it a script, uh, going through different drafts, yeah. uh, you know, adding me to it, and sort mm. of adding my my sensibility to it yeah. wherever I could. Uh, so that's a process that I enjoyed, um, but um, yeah, I'm, I've also been fortunate to have certain people. I totally believe your journey is never just yours; mm. it cannot be. It has to be shared with a lot of people who have believed in you mm. immensely. Whether it's people who've like launched you in the industry, or uh, I feel like in one of my closest friends in the industry is uh, Dino yeah. uh, Dinesh Vijan, and like you said, of course, he believed in me. Uh, because he directed me in Rapta. Yeah. You know, when you direct someone, also, I think just as a producer is a very different thing. But when you direct someone, you know the potential. Yeah. You get to know the potential, and once you start seeing the potential, you feel like, okay, you know, 
I feel like if she gets a good opportunity or a good film, yeah. I think she can shine. And that belief coming from someone is really important. Mm. Um, and um, I always sort of am grateful to him uh, for all the opportunities and all the times as he's really believed in me and challenged me. Mm. You know, whether it is Mimi, whether it is um, a smaller but yet impactful part of Bhedia, which was just extremely tricky mm. uh, to play. Whether it is Teri Baato Mein, you know, uh, a, a character like Sifra. Mm. Um, I just feel like these are really different parts and they're extremely challenging in their own ways. Mm. And I'm glad that he did see me do it before I actually did it. Yeah. You know, so that, that that's always there. So I feel like... Um, it is always a lot of people who have been in your life, believed in you, held your hand when you needed mm. it um, and told you that I know you can do it. Yeah. Because sometimes even though you believe in yourself and you mm. know you can do it, mm. you need that one person at times to be saying that I agree, yeah. I feel that you deserve it, I feel you can do it. No, absolutely and I think very well put which is where I was going with and I think um, I'm so glad because then you know today we are celebrating you because of those choices also. And uh, I'll end it by this, by asking you, while we are proud of the choices we make, we're also proud of the choices that we don't make. Yeah. So I want to know what are the things that you wouldn't want to be doing at all today. And um, you know, which is I think um, a lesson for a lot of people who are doing in the beginning. To be in a position today, little bit where you get that position to say, you know, I will not do this because I want this. I think I'm a lot more secure now mm. in my head um, and I also value myself a lot more because I've also realized that whenever uh, I've valued myself, it's paid off. Mm. I think whenever I've chosen a film where I had something meteor to do um, or I had, it's not about screen time, it's about the, uh, the weight of the content, mm. the weight of the character. Yeah. Uh, it's about that one scene that you can shine in, you know. Whenever I've chosen because of that reason, mm. uh, it's always been loved by the audience. It's always connected, yeah. you know, struck a chord with them. Um, whenever I've listened to the noise and heard that, you know, this is a big project and this is going to be a good announcement and, you know, this will like be good for you mm. and, um, yeah, it doesn't have that much uh, for you to do or it doesn't have that much of a role, mm. but uh, it's a big film, you know this whole thing yeah that doesn't work for me somehow <laughs> it's never worked for me yeah. so i feel like uh whenever my gut from inside is saying now nah, i'm not excited mm. then i'm not excited now nah, then it doesn't happen and it's not like i don't give my best yeah. i give my 200 percent of course when i'm there because no matter i'm excited or not excited by the part mm. i think whatever i've done till now when i've been in front of the camera it's been 200 percent me yeah so i've fully given it all uh, but sometimes, the gut feeling of the inside is right. So you have to hear it. Um, so I know that today, the only reason I would do a film uh, is because I really want to do it. Mm. It's because uh, it's, there's something in it that has excited me. Yeah. Uh, it's not the length of the role, but it's more the part. Mm. Uh, and the actor in me needs to feel excited to be on set. Yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah. On that note, thank you so much. Anything on Bhedia too you'd like to keep tell us? Bhedia? No, no, no. I have <laughs> genuinely have no idea right now. Okay, fair yeah. enough. I just tried. Yeah. But that's another exciting one. On that note, Kriti, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. And it's lovely talking to you always. It is absolutely fantastic talking to you and also being here to see what you've achieved. Um, I can very, now I think if I say right now, it's Kriti Sanon's world and we are just living oh in God. it. I think we'll... I think Let's it touch wood on that. That this year has started really well. But I'm yeah. super proud of you, Kriti. And I hope that you get the craziest roles. Thank you, thank you. Cheering so for you. Thank you.